Lots of um, parents have contacted me to say that they are very worried about their children having to contend with this when they go to school. Um, some of the schools um, in our borough are some of the most polluted um, in London and that is a real cause of concern for us because as, as I've said, children's uh, young bodies, their lungs are much more susceptible to air pollution. Um, so we, are, we have got some funding and we're doing some special measures around some of the most polluted schools um, to try and protect the children from, uh, from roads like this. So we, we've got some funding for green walls that are going in and some of the parents uh, groups have been amazing in, in raising their own funding to do that as well and it's, it's a real privilege to work together with, um, with parents on that sort of initiative. Um, we're also encouraging um, parents to get involved uh, in talking to other parents about how they get their children to and from school. Um, are there other ways you can do it other than driving? Um, you know. Um, also, um, we've run anti-idling sessions. So idling is where people are sitting in their cars, not going anywhere, but with the engine on. And it's a real, you know, no-brainer to say that you should switch the, the engine on, uh, 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 the engine off if you're just sitting still. Uh, but not not everyone realises the damage that they're doing. So we've had some successful campaigns, getting parents involved, talking to people who are sitting in their cars. And you know, most of the time they do switch their engines off if they're asked. But we are bringing in measures that will enable us to find people if they don't. Do too many parents take their kids to school by car? I'd say yes. I mean, and again, that's not to blame individual parents, but just to say that there is a problem there that we need to do something about. I mean, it's not just the air pollution, but anyone who's been around a school at dropping off or picking up time will know that it can be chaos when it comes to parking, perhaps illegal parking, double parking, um, causing chaos for the people who live around the school. And it can be very dangerous for, for young children um, walking around on foot as well. Uh, so we're working with schools, we want schools to have in place travel plans um, which will ensure that parents don't have to drive to school, that there, there are other things in place, um, whether it's, uh, you know, pointing out that, that uh, and, and lobbying for better public transport or um, getting parents to group together to, to walk to school and children to walk to school in groups, um, all that kind of thing, but yes, there is a problem.